Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is President Obama's education plan, and we're fortunate to have with us to talk about President Obama's education plan, the Dean of the College of uh, Education at Tennessee State University, uh, Dr. Peter Millett. And of course, Dr. Millett, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. And to tell you, Dr. Millett, how delighted we are to uh, have you here. Uh, and uh, to especially talk about the uh, topic that we're going to deal with this morning. And what we've tried to do over the last uh, several weeks is to uh, deal with uh, President Obama's education plan, his health plan, mm -hmm. as well as his energy plan. And in order to do that, you represent our, energy, our, our education spokesperson uh, for this uh, particular show, trying to get out as much information as we possibly can dealing with uh, President Obama's education plan. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, uh, Dr. Millett, let's see if we'll ha we can have you to uh, give us some information about uh, yourself, about Peter Millett, about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in eventually leading you to the deanship of the uh, College of Education at Tennessee State University. Then we'll talk about uh, President Obama's education plan. Okay, um, Dr. Haney, thank you very much. I appreciate very much the in invitation. I enjoy being here. Thank you very much. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, in my family, education has always been very important in my family. Uh, my mother was born right here in Tennessee. My father was born in Trinidad. Trinidad is a little island off the coast of South America, but he came over to the United States when he was very young to study and, and pursue his education. Eventually, he got a... Um, master's degree at Princeton and he got a doctor's degree in Boston University so education has always been very important now for myself um, I've moved around quite a lot and much of it has been related to my educational studies I was born in Buffalo New York started in a public school system and I'm a product of the public school system I've been in public schools all the way through um, um, I went to got my bachelor's degree in, oh, at Oakland University mm -hmm. in Rochester Hills, Michigan. Got a bachelor's degree in clinical psychology. I uh, continued my education at the Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio. I got my master's degree, mm -hmm. got my PhD at the Ohio State University. Mm -hmm. So part of my training in, in another life is I'm licensed in the state of Tennessee as a clinical psychologist. Mm -hmm. So I've got two hats. One hat is a psychologist, the other mm -hmm. one is um, in education. Mm -hmm. Now, part of my training continued, um, I had to do what's called a residency. So mm -hmm. as part of the clinical psychology training, mm -hmm. I did a residency at the Medical College of Georgia in Augusta. Mm -hmm. I came to um, Nashville, Tennessee. I did another residency at um, Meharry Medical College. Mm -hmm. So I'm very well um, versed in psychology. Mm -hmm. Now, how I here, so let me tell you how I got into education. Okay. Mm -hmm. The way I got into education was, I started at Tennessee State University mm -hmm. in 1997. I was an assistant professor of psychology. Mm -hmm. So I had that for a number of years. Um, and then I was about five years into my, my stay at Tennessee mm -hmm. State, the department head position came open. So I applied for the position of department mm -hmm. head in psychology, and I was selected for that position. Mm -hmm. Now, I stayed in the department head position for five years mm -hmm. and the position of dean of the college came open mm -hmm. um, i applied for and i was successful in getting the position of the dean of the college of education at tennessee state mm -hmm. now i've been in that position for five years mm -hmm. now part of my training has been specifically related to education mm -hmm. and education administration like i've told you so far about my psychology training mm -hmm. and psychology background um, but some of the other experiences that i've had mm -hmm. in um, education. Um, in 2003, I was selected to have a postdoctoral fellowship mm -hmm. experience at Harvard University, mm -hmm. and the focus of that was on education, mm -hmm. administration, leadership. Mm -hmm. um, in 2007, I had another one uh, experienced by uh, called a group called the Millennium Leadership Initiative, mm -hmm. and that is sponsored by the American Association of State Colleges and mm -hmm. Universities, and they give you additional administrative mm -hmm. types of training. So those are some of the kinds of experiences that I've had. Mm -hmm. I've been at Tennessee State University for 12 years now, mm -hmm. and I've got a number of uh, interesting things I can Very tell you about mm -hmm. the university. Very good, and as a matter of fact, uh, Dr. Millett, that's uh, excellent information. That's the kind of information that we're looking for. And I'm sure that with that kind of information, we can start this second segment uh, in a few seconds uh, in reference to uh, 
President Obama's uh, education policy and ed education plan. And of course, uh, let me uh, encourage our audience to uh, stay tuned for the uh, second segment of this show, which will deal with uh, President Obama's uh, education plan. <coughs> and of course, I think that uh, Dr. Millett, since uh, has laid the foundation for a very, very excellent uh, a, uh, a discussion of uh, that particular uh, education plan. And of course, we'll be back with our audience uh, following this very, very short uh, commercial break. The topic.